Have you ever pondered over the question, what happens when we depart from this physical existence? This mystery has captivated human imagination since time immemorial, leading to a plethora of beliefs, theories, and philosophies. Picture yourself in a room filled with a multitude of doors. Each door represents a different belief or theory about what lies beyond the veil of death. You stand there, intrigued, and perhaps a little overwhelmed, wondering which door to open, which path to explore. Let's delve into a parable that may shed some light on this perplexing question. Once, in a small village nestled between the mountains, there lived an old sage. The villagers revered him for his wisdom and often sought his counsel. One day, a young boy approached him, his eyes filled with curiosity and fear. What happens to us when we die? He asked. The sage, with a gentle smile, picked up a clay pot. This pot, he said, is like our body. The space within it is like our soul. He then shattered the pot. When the pot is broken, he continued, the space that was once confined within it merges with the space around. It doesn't cease to exist, but transforms, becoming part of the endless expanse. This parable resembles several spiritual and philosophical perspectives that suggest our essence or consciousness continues to exist in some form, even after the physical body perishes. On one hand, there are beliefs rooted in reincarnation, like in Hinduism, Buddhism, and Jainism, which propose that the soul is eternal and it transitions from one body to another in a cyclic process of birth, death, and rebirth. On the other hand, Abrahamic religions such as Christianity, Islam, and Judaism propose the concept of resurrection. They assert that after death, souls await a day of judgment, when they will be resurrected and rewarded or punished based on their earthly deeds. Then there are theories that lean towards scientific perspectives. Some quantum physicists have suggested that consciousness might be a form of energy, which according to the law of conservation of energy, cannot be created or destroyed, only transformed. Atheism, often associated with secular humanism, typically rejects the concept of an afterlife, viewing death as the end of consciousness and existence. And then, there are agnostics who simply state that it is impossible to know what happens after death choosing to focus on the present life. Each door in the room represents one of these perspectives. Each one offers a unique interpretation of what lies beyond the veil of death. But no matter which door you choose to open, remember that all these theories, beliefs, and perspectives are attempts to understand the great mystery of death. They are not definitive answers, but rather signposts guiding us in our personal quest for understanding. In the end, it is not the fear of death, but the joy of living that should guide our actions. After all, it is the journey, not the destination, that makes life worth living.